Hello everyone! Today we are starting Guild Wars 2 and of Dragons. I'm, I'm listening to the music right now in the background and that's amazing. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and keep all of the story to these videos. That way we don't spoil anyone on Twitch. We'll do the rest of the gameplay stuff, map exploration, things like that that are non-story related on Twitch as much as I can. But at least today we're going to do the story to get into Cantha. We're going to get some some exploration done. We're going to get our first look at Cantha. Especially as someone who didn't play Guild Wars 1, I started with Guild Wars 2, so I've never been in Cantha. So, I'm very excited. And the music! Alright, I gotta show you. If you haven't seen yet, the visuals for the character select screen and the music is gorgeous. So we'll go ahead and switch over to that real quick. I'm going to turn up this up a little bit. I love this. Also, I love how I somehow made my character kind of match the cherry blossoms in the background. I think like cherry blossom, maple... I don't know what these are, what kind of bushes these are, but I love it. This is so nice. As you move your character around, of course, it does the whole... All right, let's get in. Let's get in. So, I think before we start the story, I'm going to try to get maybe my virtuoso going. I'm going to start on my weaver first because she's my main. She's who I do all of my story on. But I think what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to get rid of any guild stuff. I don't see too much guild chat. Set this to recording. So I don't spoil anything for myself or anyone else. What do we have here? All right. Crystallographer Smoxy. Crystalline Resonance Cascade. Commander, very exciting news. A Crystalline Resonance Cascade scenario has occurred. You can read my last publication, Crystalline Waveform Resonance Cascade Collapse Scenarios and You. A brief primer by award-winning crystallographer Smoxy very soon. Okay. That's a very long title. But I wanted to let you know about it right away since it centers on you. All of your red and green profit shards and crystals are now blue. Additionally, it seems the shards localized to this area will be all blue from now on as well. Isn't that amazing? I'll still, of course, accept blue shards from you to rec for recompense. I can't talk. And the chests nearby seem to function fine with this change. I assure you nothing has been lost in this scenario, and your friends may think they still have red and green shards for a time, but the moment they try to do anything with them, they will be blue. Try not to be too discombobulated, even though things have suddenly changed, they still effectively remain the same, possibly even better since you don't have to think about what color this week is now. You look at Interesting. Okay. Fun. Catalyst, and of course, I've got all of the things for it. So I'm gonna unlock it. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna unlock it. Just one more confirmation of how great I am. So I've got those. I'm not gonna do Catalyst though. Because I'm not a huge fan mine. of Catalyst in the beta. I'll try it out later on, but for right now, I want to play Weaver. So we're gonna do that because I'm gonna play with my normal stuff first. I still have 94 left over. Um, there's some new stuff in the Black Lion Trading Company, too. Ooh. Okay, let's look at what they've got. <laughs> Redacted Darkit! I've been told these are really pretty. Oh, oh! Okay. Benevolence is a nice, is a nice blue. Oh. Ooh, I like the deep dye. Wisdom, tsunami. Neat. Let's see. Supply drop. Oh, these are daily drops. Hell yeah. Okay, so the, I'm not buying this yet, because, no. 
Um, use this to sign your account up for weekly End of Dragons, launch supply drops, receive the first drop immediately, and three more between now and March 21st. So, first drop, a red crane weapon choice, five black lion chest keys, a golden black lion chest key, and five die kits. The second drop, a black lion backpack and glider combo voucher, an End of Dragons expedition board. Is that the same thing as what we have in our home instance? Is that what that's for? And two heroic boosters. Third drop, a black lion outfit voucher, a black lion weapon voucher, two fine black lion die canisters, blue, two fine black lion die canisters, green, two for red, two for yellow. A fourth drop, a gold essence weapon choice, two guaranteed wardrobe unlocks, and two black lion miniature claim tickets. Neat. Spiritless backpack and glider. What is this? I love that. That's so cool. Turn the music down because we're 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 with normal music now. We don't we don't need all that. What's the glider look like? Tentacles. You know what this beat would be great for? If um oh god, what's her name? It's one of the the characters in League of Legends that's also in um, KDA. Evelyn. I think it's Evelyn? These would be perfect for a cosplay for Evelyn. Yes. Okay. Gonna, gonna plan that later on. You can't then spiritualist outfit. Ooh. Um, okay, so it is a home instance thing. Okay. Okay, so I believe to start this, you have to start it in the story here. And the dragons begin the story. Elder dragons awaken, consume magic. Okay, and this was the trailer. This is the way it's always been. The dragon cycle. We've seen this before. <sighs> Unimaginable suffering through the ages. Countless lives sh and instead of uniting some capitalized on chaos. It's one of the bugs we've seen uh, from a few friends so far. There's going to be a but few dialogue some of issues. Us fought back. Yeah, based on the uh, trailer. Heroes that we've across seen Tyria before. banded together. Uh, we it looks came like from different the... corners, but shared a vision of a better tomorrow. Not everyone made it. Yeah, see, it's skipping ahead with certain parts, so I think the audio and the video made for this aren't matching up then came properly. Or it was a slightly different edit than what they put in the other trailers. But we'll see. Or It'll be fixed probably. Real who quick. we raised from an. Yeah, <laughs> we already got some bugs. Right into it. With the prismatic dragon on our side, we have a chance. We've slain five elder dragons. Yeah, it's the same as the trailer that we've we've already seen. If you've been watching uh, the Guild Wars 2 YouTube page. But some of this we've seen, some of it we haven't. But what's the right path forward? Every... But it seems like how they've edited it to include everything, like, all together. Seems like it's not matching up properly, but... Yeah. I like that they've done the slightly longer edit for the visuals. We get to see a little bit more of what's going on and, you know, the story thus far. And here, of course, is where we see Timey say, we're running out of time. I'm running out of time. For those who don't know, who haven't kept up the story with so far, you need to catch up on it because uh, there's going to be a lot of spoilers for past story into this. But essentially, Timey's dying. Champion, I need to speak with you. Yes, ma'am. Something's happening, and I'd like to discuss it in person. Also, if I'm honest, I wouldn't mind seeing your face again. That's our baby. Don't let that go to your head. Don't let that go to your head. 
Kayeth letter from Kayeth Commander. I know you've been very busy. Oh my god, I'm turning this down. What with the char insurrections and killing of Elder Dragons, but I think you might want to pay a visit to the Item North. Something seems to be bothering Orin. It has been too long. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Okay. Eye of the North. Ooh, there's a new compass. Ooh. I gotta play with the new compass real quick. Yeah, I see some visual bugs that are popping up, but that's fine. Okay. What are you? Tyria. Okay, so it automatically takes me to Central Tyria. Maguma. Cry for Crystal Desert. Okay. Cantha! Oh, look at this lovely, lovely map. I think this is where we start out with. I love this. Panda character. We've got all the different things. Uh, for those who don't know, these little colors are representative of what areas we're going to. So if you remember the different colors of our masteries, for instance, if we go to this, masteries, they match up with these colors. So Corteria is this red. Green is Heart of Thorns. Purple is Path of Fire. Iceberg Saga, that was all Living World Season. That's not an expansion. And then the other expansion color is End of Dragons, which is blue. So all of those correlate to these colors. Again, they don't include Ice Fruit Saga, um, the, that color for that, because that's a Living World Season mastery section. So for the expansion ones and core, they've got these. So. Yay! Okay. Fun! That's super neat. I love that they've done that. I know, I'll be dismounted. Okay, we'll turn this up. <laughs> I'm super excited. Champion, it's wonderful to see you. Even with Jormak oh, and nope, Primaris nope. gone, I noticed Tyria still standing. Seems the Exalted were a bit off in their predictions. Disaster hasn't struck. Yet. The world does feel different, though. <sighs> Can't put my finger on it. Like... Change is coming. Real change. I feel it too, Champion. That's why I wanted to see you. I've begun to... perceive something. A distant presence. An ancient presence. Bubbles. It's a ripple in the mist. Like a dolphin in the deep, sounding to sense what's out there, and I, I want to respond. But before I do, I check my visions. All my possible futures converge to one point. Today. And you can't see past it? And I can't see past it. Are you sure? Does it mean you die? I'm not sure of anything, except my urge to respond. To say, yes, I'm here. You're not scared? I'm intrigued. I'm intensely curious. And even if I die, we know I won't stay dead. We think. Whatever it is, I can handle it. I just wanted to tell you, before it all begins. How does it begin? I'm not sure, but I know it involves Tiny and Gorik. Then I'll talk to them. See... I love this. I love how they have her character because she's still clearly, even though she's an elder dragon, she's got all this wisdom, all this power. She's still very lonely as far as oh, we're yawn. Her, her kind just being around and her being close to now the only of her kind as far as elder dragons go. And also still very much showing her actual age if she's still a kid. So she assumes that she's going to be safe, no matter what, but we'll see. Command. Kay. Oh, you're back. That's uh, <laughs> good. That's great. Is she? <sighs> Something to do with Gorik. We're also going to turn yeah. off people's nameplates. Okay, um, so Gorik and I have been uh, up here doing it? research, looking for a way to there end the dragon cycle. 
Because, like, who needs that noise every 10,000 years, am I right? So many dead people, and the cleanup is insane. You were talking about Gorik. Right. Gorik got a message from an old colleague. Ah. An old inquest colleague. Ah. Uh -huh. Anka. Anka. He's mentioned her a couple times. I've never met her. Says she was tracking Jormag and Primordus. Ah. Oh, she has some data. Would he like to see it? She'll trade it to us. For what? Doesn't specify for what. Red flag. Come meet her at Lorner's Pass alone. Second red flag. So, Anka offers him something she knows he'd want without asking for something in return? Yes. Why would she do that? Exactly. Oh. She likes him. Exactly! Why do you care? I don't know! But you don't trust her. Why should I? Why indeed? I'm sorry, are you... worried for Gorik's safety? Yes! I'm worried for Gorik's safety. You... want me to go find him at the pass? Bring him back? Alchemy! Uh, would you... please... Thank oh you, Commander. God. Oh my god, Timey's jealous. <laughs> Timey's jealous and she wants one of her moms to go check up on her boyfriend. Oh my god, Timey. You came. You asked. I like that you trusted oh. me. Why wouldn't I? I haven't always earned it. Being back at the Grove was different this time. I know we Silvani tend to come off as... Sophisticates of the highest order. <laughs> oh, indeed. But the truth is, even we firstborn have only been around for thirty odd years. Our culture is oh, immature boy. emotionally. Knowledge we have, but knowledge and wisdom are different things. I think back to when I was with Fowlin. <laughs> I don't recognize that person. I had no idea who I was. Aureen changed everything. I'm a parent. <laughs> of a sort, anyway. Cute. Being back among them, I realized I don't belong there anymore. My world, my perspective have broadened. I knew you would understand. It's because literally Kaith and the commander are both parents now. All right, timing. I know you jealous little kid. Gang's back together, huh? I mean, not the whole gang, obviously. Ritlock, Kaz and Jory. Time Ram's at the Lodge. Logan's back in Kreida. Kanak is with Saida. Zafiro with the Zaishin. Timey. Garm is with Bram. Aaron Snapper dead. I don't know where the heck Zoja is. Timey. I'll get Gorik. It's gonna be okay. I know. Oh my god, she is a moody teenager. <sighs> Not bad, considering it's mostly speculation. There's so much we don't know, or don't know we don't know. You have Aurene. And she's been super helpful, but she's only one Elder Dragon, and not exactly typical of the species. We have so many questions. How did she ascend? Where did the others come from? Are there any more out there? The Priory thought there was at least one more. The water dragon. Bubbles. Draconology is an evolving field of study. Hypotheses must be supported by evidence. They live their lives on a time scale we can barely comprehend. Some days I wonder if they're knowable at all. But, like you said, we have Aurene. And she makes all the difference. Alright, last one. Eh, ups and downs. Could do with fewer of the downs. Some days I wake up feeling like it's gonna take nine bolts to the brain pan to get me out of bed, you know? But most days are fine. And we don't need to talk about the other days. Have you been getting any rest? Not enough. That's not true. Okay, yes, that's true. I'm just getting so close to figuring out where all that magic went. <sighs> that's not a good excuse, though. More rest, fewer symptoms, fewer symptoms, happier timey. Uh, okay. Let's go. Also, I do love how they're getting more and more into, uh, Timey's disease. And definitely making more of a, uh, 
hey, she's dying and all this, but she's also dealing with some serious chronic issues, and here's exactly how she's explaining it. So, I like it. Um, hmm. we'll do like all of these. I've I guess. I've been thinking about these past months. Primordius and Jormac, Bangar and Ryland. I made a conscious choice not to involve myself as a nascent elder dragon. I was wary of my own power, but lately I've wondered, was that the right choice? Right. Remember my visions of our battle with Krakatoric? They all ended the same, with your death, and you couldn't see past it. Just like Glint. But of course that was before I... Ate an unkillable Lich King? Discovered I can self-resurrect. Glint couldn't. Krakatoric couldn't. Once again, my visions converge. Except I don't see my death in any of them. They just... stop. Does that mean anything? Change anything? Is this time different? I don't know. But I can't wait to find out. Alright, last one. Gorg left to meet up with an old inquest colleague. The time he doesn't know, doesn't trust. For reasons unclear. They've worked closely for a while now. And they share a bond of loss. Years since they lost Blesh. But grief heals eventually, especially when you grieve together. None of it seems to have anything to do with you, though. No. And I still can't see past today. It's exhilarating, not knowing what's coming. Maybe for you. <laughs> okay. I'm off to Lornar's Pass to save Gorik's virtue. Oh, God. I don't like how that's worded, but all right. Okay, off we go. Head to Lorner's Pass. Oh, I can talk to other people. Yay! I mean, technically they haven't even lost... Like, they're not even mourning a death. They're mourning Blish screaming into the void again. Casimir! <gasps> Detective Delacroix and Lady Mead. O or is it Ambassador Mead now? No title yet. I managed not to screw up the Ice Brood War. Queen gave me a little more rope, is all. You helped bring humans and char Ow, together. Madri. There you go. Got the code in invested in the fight, and Jenna knows it. Maybe. Nice to think so. We haven't had much time to really talk since Bangar's convocation. Oh my gods. The Metal Legion concert. Then things got busy. Things have always been busy. Ever since we were tracking Krakatoric. Trying to clean up his mess. Towns destroyed. Refugee camps. Close my eyes so I can see the faces. It was... a lot. Coming on the heels of Cormir and the other gods leaving us all to fend for ourselves. We see how well that's gone. You're not being fair I you. was shiny and shallow. A sunbeam. My sunbeam. Who ran when you needed me most. And I forgave you, a long time ago. You have to forgive yourself. Working on it. God, Casimir has grown up so damn much. Good for her. I know a lot of it's trauma related, but good for her. Good luck. I've had some time to sit with everything. Spent some time with Cree. You never really got to know your son. Not the way you wanted. No, but I think that's the point. Bangar was right. Char don't have sons. Kree knew that. Kept her objective. What I wanted, I was never gonna get from Ryland. It wasn't about him, it was about me. What I need. I couldn't see past the hole I was trying to fill. The more I pushed, the more he pulled away. I made it all worse. Ryland was a grown char. He made his choices. I know. And I did what had to be done. Now his fight is over. Me? I don't know. There's time. You'll figure it out. Working on it. Uh, things are still tense, but she's good. Oh, 
great under the circumstances. Hands full with paperwork. Keeps her busy. <laughs> Thinks a couple of the Imperators are already vying for Connor. Hope it doesn't get ugly. We've been through... a lot. Of course, I'm biased, but if you ask me, they already got a pretty good candidate. For what it's worth, I think you're right. Might be time for all of us to put away old divisions. Hmm. Listen to us. A couple old soldiers going soft. We fight because we have to, not because we want to. That was Bangar's mistake. <sighs> Add it to the list. But yeah, might be time. I think I'm ready to plant my tail in one place for a while. And just... process. Yay! And again, I love that he increased your healing. Oh, I love it. Okay. Uh... Is there an extra conversation I was not aware of? Is there something I missed? I think I already did that? Okay. So, old friends. Lorner's Pass. We're gonna go to Stone. I think that's the easiest one. I've gotten everything set up for today, too, because I'm going to be streaming later tonight to do all the exploration stuff, all of the fun, trying to find jump puzzles, doing whatever mastery points, hero points, everything. So I've got like soda, I've got coffee made for the entire day, I've made um, food that I've kept in the kitchen ready for today. I made a bunch of boiled eggs. So very excited. All right. Let's go save Gorik's virtue. I'm concerned. <laughs> oh! Oh my! Lovely. Alright, going in. The fact that we know who Anka is, too, based on the uh, trailers. <laughs> Tell me about this old friend you're meeting. Yeah, Gork, we want to hear all about Anka. Spare no detail. Anka? She's an old colleague from my time at Tharmanova. We had a highly productive collaboration. I mean, I may have occasionally experienced mild heart arrhythmia when we were working together. Oh my god. spoken since between you Gorg, passion can mature in absence like in a glass of wine <laughs> no 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 nothing like that just two ex-colleagues sharing research on a problem and commander oh my god Gork faster just just run faster honey about elder dragons and magic but with most gone data is hard to come by we're on terra incognita Anka is offering us, and we need all the knowledge we can get. Gorik, over here! It's been so long, let me take a look at you. You haven't changed a bit. So are you. Anka, allow me to introduce... Oh, no. It's an honor, Commander. Any friend of Gorik's is a friend of mine. Squad pajama. Hold up. Uh, right back at you. Anyone else love how, like, natural... That voice acting was. Like, it doesn't feel like a story. It feels like legitimately like someone just in game just talking to you like a friend. I love it. Also, I love her voice. Here we go. Turn it up. I made that up. She what? Made it up? 
But you said you don't have a passion for elder dragons? More of a professional interest. One in particular. I think you know her. Wait a second. You do want something. It's a trap! <laughs> Ready to do. Me and my Aether Blades. Aether Blades? Bye, Commander. Hey! I love her. She's smooth as hell. <laughs> Alright, now you'll get to see me do horrible combat. As we were doing combat immediately. Aha! I feel like this is brand new. Ellie. <gasps> it is our baby. We'll catch Orin, hold up. We need a plan. There's no time. They took Gorak. You can come with me, or I can go alone. Either way. But I'm not staying out of the fight this time. That's Sire my girl. Saya and champion. That's my baby. Let's go, girl. An instance within an instance. I love Anka and her voice. And she seems like she's gonna be a fun character. Alright. Um... Y'all have been cursing way more. But you're also, you know, space pirate. So there's that. Come on. Pirates are fun. Uh, oh, it's all the way down here. Okay. Ooh. Alright, I'm on this one. Alright, I have to get to another one, but I don't know which other one I need to get to. These ones didn't jump, so I'm gonna fight these. Girl, I got your boy. I got your lover boy. Don't worry. Just you and me now, champion. Maybe just you. I have no way to get to the next ship. Let me help. I think you'll enjoy this. Yeah, girl. Okay. Eat. <laughs> That's my girl. All right. How do I get onto yours? What up, sweetheart? Mine. I have a cannon. Let me shoot the cannon. Oh, fine. Oh, my lord. Fine. Now, you can back off slightly. Thank you! Ugh. Putting it down. Everyone 
everyone thinks I'm your pet. That's my bloodthirsty baby. Girl, I love you. Good girl. I don't know if I need that cannon, I don't care. I got my bloodthirsty baby going. We have raised her well. Do I need the cannon? I have no idea. But. Alright, sucker, come here. Can't believe you fell for that. My place is burned off. I feel good. This is where it ends, Commander. You'll never reach your friend. No more. That was Stupid. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That did it. Cool. Now to find the right ship. All right. Oh, Pandy. I'll take care of this one. Mother tree, the dragon. Haven't seen Orin like this in a while. Yep. All right. Um, yeet. Uh, do I jump here? Piss off, Commander! Ah, uh, screw off. That ship's too far. I have to steer this thing closer. Come here. I don't know what that did, but it did something. All right. Aha. Oh, shit. Hey. How's she doing that? What the hell's going on? Who told you to cut the extractor? I gave a direct order not to use it. Redneck's calm is broken. Damn it. Mine. Be real careful when doing that. That's fine though. Um, I guess I'll go to that one. Was there a specific one I was supposed to go to? No? Okay. That's fine. Can I get to that one? Come on. Which one am I supposed to go to? Is it this one? Maybe it's that one. It is this one. Oh. 
mists. Can you see our location? Ooh. Some kind of landmass in the distance. Timey? Cantha? Must be out of comms range. Oh, great. Right. There's our boy. Don't hurt me, please. I'll tell you anything. What do you want to know? Gorik. Boy. Wait, where did? Oh, is it? Is it glitching a little bit? There we go. <laughs> no, it's just shaking a lot. Did you just mess with my baby? I'm not down with that. That's a little rude. I like you a little less now, Anka, but... Tantha! Come on! Oh, hello. D detention facility. Oh, God. I love the little butterflies, though. They're super cute. The feast is stabilizing. Well, for me, there's a dead man I got. Oh, my clothes have changed. The hell is that? There's no of teeth of ears. Those ears can hear you. I said I like how this stays up. The detective will have an update when it's all sorted out. Sit tight. Unacceptable. I want my comms call. We have a right to counsel. Not here, you dope. Oh, thank the commander. You're awake. You've been out for uh, so much to. You won't believe where we. Uh, oh. Slow down. Very okay. interesting. First things first. We're in a pickle. I can see that. After M noon, I swore I'd never go back in. One time, unfortunate misunderstanding. Two times, I start to question myself. Prison changes you. I'm not built for hard time, Commander. There's still so much to learn, so much science to be done. I never even got a chance to tell. Oh. I won't die in this cell, hmm. you hear me? I won't. Take a roll. my body, but my mind is free. Okay, okay. Calm down, everyone. Hmm. Scrap metal. Take a roll. Find some. We can hone it into a... Soak the bandages. A, a Sticky liquid. Dominance. 
find the biggest, most intimidating inmate and stab mm. him in the carotid artery in front of the whole cafeteria. Oh, but if we do, then what have we become? Are we monsters, Commander? And were we all along? Maybe prison doesn't change you. Maybe it reveals you. No, we do what we must to stay alive. In the insect world, there is no morality. Only the strongest survive. And Why do I feel like this has just been an, an entire just be two hours needle, that he's written all of this? Mantis, as resilient as the roach. Aww. All right, outsiders. Your time's up. Time's up? Uh, are we being executed? What? What's the matter with you? Your friends negotiated your release. Our friends? And I love his voice. Uh, follow me. And no funny business. You're still in my custody. Officer, may I ask your name? Rama. Detective Rama. A detective. My name is... All right, I yeah, have I found the character everyone's going to simp over. You washed up on my beach. You gave me a crap ton of paperwork. I... The truth is, I have at times been quite at odds with the law. In fact, I was charged with bioterrorism in Amnum. He grew a beetle in his arm. Uh-huh. I <laughs> like how the commander's just like chill with this. Best internship ever. All right, you two. Release forms. By signing this, you affirm that the Ministry of Security has treated you fairly and humanely, that you've suffered no unreasonable bodily harm during your arrest and detainment. You first, bioterrorist. Wait, define bodily harm. I stubbed my toe last night. Sign the damn form. Now you. Good job, Gorik. You can collect your personal effects from the box there. We hope oh. you enjoyed your stay at the Xingjie Detention Center. Now if you'll follow me. Akane, hold down the fort. Roger that. Xingjie? I was trying to tell you, Commander. The airship crash landed in- Kantha, come for the waters, stay for the hospitality. Been a while. Do you miss us? Kantha. I don't know what to say. Only been 114 years. Not like you had time to prepare something. Look at that. What the alchemy is that? Oh, that's super Security cool. Mac or something. Whoop. I can't keep up with all the new tech. Curiously reminiscent of our golems. Has Kantha been trading with Radisoon? Which part have we been closed to the outside world for over a hundred years did you not understand? And I love these new voices. I love these new voices. This is so pretty. The water. I got goosebumps. Crichton ambassadors waiting for you. And our Minister of Security wants to speak oh, with you there after. We go. The music? Hold on, y'all need to hear the music real quick. Alright. Kaz, Jory, I'm I'm glad you're here. I have you heard anything about Oreen? There we go. Is she She's fine. Recovering. Don't worry. Case with her. You'll see her soon. It's okay to take a moment to find your bearings. After we heard about what happened, we were so... <sighs> anyway, took a little while, but it all worked out. Sort of. I'm still missing some pieces. How did you find us? Find you? You kind of caused a hot steaming mess of a circus show. An international incident. Jenna sent me to Smooth what? Feathers. Why? And no way would I let Jory miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Don't know about that. Not like I ever expected to see this place. But sure, if you say so. You know it is. Commander, there'll be time to catch you up, but that man wanted to speak to you. Why does she sound so bitter about the fact that the man wants to speak to me? Did you take away all of my speed? You did. I don't like it. 
So, Mr. Lee. You're the commander I've been hearing so much about. I guess I am. Lee, Minister of Security. Under the agreement signed hmm, 20 minutes ago, you've been granted clemency. I suppose I've got you to thank for that? Hmm. You are fortunate to have such influential friends. My understanding is you're something of a protector of the realm, doing whatever's necessary to keep your people safe. I try to keep all people safe. I see. Well, it is my duty to keep the people of Cantha safe. I'm very good at my job, Commander. Understood, Minister. I must return to my duties. <laughs> Welcome to the Sovereign Empire of Cantha. Well, Commander, you're almost free of me, but there's one more thing we need to do before I can sign your release. Meet me at the monastery training grounds as soon as you can. Rama, Yay! A word. Minister? <gasps> what do we have? On our Aetherblade situation. Tale of Adventure, no. used for crafting and purchasing items earned daily honor, from each story I'll journal chapter. As soon as this is wrapped up. Good. Old Maybe fishing we'll rod. Make some headway. Gains a thousand karma and a wooden lure and unlocks a fishing mastery track. This was mixed in with your belongings when they were returned. Rama Nakane didn't want it back, so it's yours now. Deluxe gearbox and three bags of loot. Okay. Okay. Reduces time to catch at fishing holes and triples the XP gained from fishing there. Adds plus 22 base fishing power. Oh. Okay. Um, so many waters of Tyria. So this is more than just Cantha. You can fish in Cantha and then I believe all of the other areas in the game that have water. Like designated areas. You have a fishing pole equipped. You can switch your fishing pole by selecting fishing from the mastery skill menu. Fishing requires bait or a lure to be equipped. Close. Stash of Crimson Skull Coins takes effect immediately upon receipt. Grants a large amount of X of End of Dragons Mastery experience. Oh! Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Get the lay of the land, but first we need to talk to our friends. Y'all can sit, can, y'all can wait a minute. Y'all can wait a minute. My heart, my heart cannot handle this. Okay. Yep. I can't believe that's the same Anka I used to hypothesize with. Kidnapping, murder, swashbuckling? Timey was right. I should have Your ex is a hot notice, pirate lady. But hearing from her after so long, it was as if my rational mind short-circuited. <sighs> Much like the ant's brain when infected with a fungal spore. That's one way to put it. Certain people can cloud your judgment. True. Emotions do take over sometimes. Happens to the best of us. And what does she want with Irene? I needed to brief with Tiny. <sighs> She's going to yell at me, isn't she? <laughs> Agreed. You only crash into a research opportunity like this once in a lifetime. I find their technology fascinating. Like that apparatus you were hooked up to in the cell. I kept asking the guards about it, but they threatened to attach it to my mouth if I didn't stop talking. It's reminiscent of a golem mod Tiny and I were concepting right before I left. <sighs> I hope this debacle didn't cause her too much stress. Yeah. No. I don't know. Is something wrong? It's just... I don't know anything about Cantha. Couple of heirlooms from my grandmother. Recipe oh yeah. Too. Like Jory's said, uh, family's from until Cantha. A week ago, I never had a reason to imagine any of this. It just wasn't an option. 
Belinda was the one who was so into her Canthan heritage. Should have been her here. She would have loved this. Me? I don't care. Tori, I just... I, I didn't realize. Why would you? And the thing is, I don't even know why. Isn't that weird? Okay, so before I continue, I have a theory. So specifically in the stream, or I guess in the trailers, whatever, they mentioned that Jory had some very interesting uh, lineage here in Cantha. So I have three bets. One of them I'm more anchored in, but I have three bets. One, she's related to the Empress. Two, she's related to Mitrin somehow. Or three, she's related to Shiro. And I'm going Shiro. That's where, that's where I'm really going in with this. So, we'll see. But that would explain why she has, like, so little from her family. So, we'll see. Highly implausible string of events. Out of the blue, a message from Empress Yin. First official communique from Kantha in over a century. Inviting Kryda to reestablish diplomatic relations. Oh, and by the way... Do we know anything about foreign airships appearing in their skies and crashing on their beach? Imagine Jenna's face. Imagine everyone's face. When it got to the part about a human, an Asura, and a dragon, we put two and two together with Tiny and Kaith. Next thing you know, Ambassador Mead has a new portfolio and an airship to take her and a delegation to Kantha. Didn't know what to expect with the Risen Armada. No one has dared travel this far into the sea in over a century. Luckily, Zaitan's death seems to have left them a bit disorganized. We managed to slip past them on an airship. Handy having a mesmer aboard. Hmm. I keep forgetting that even after dragons are gone, their, like, minions are still around. It's not boring. <laughs> Lots to learn. But I'm starting to get a feel for this diplomacy thing. I've already met several officials open to discussion. Of course, you can get some who are hesitant about Cantha opening. Don't lose sleep over a few jerks still stuck in the past. Negotiation does take dealing with all kinds. Stubborn certainly is a kind. But you'll hold your own. I'm a little rusty on my Canthan history, but things seem different from what I would have expected. Well, there was a tsunami when Zaitan arose. A lot of Kainang was destroyed. Uninhabitable, maybe worse than Lion's Arch. Apparently filthy with Risen. Zaitan, of course. Which led to a rebellion against the Ministry of Purity. Pretty bloody one, too. Massive civil war. Who knows how long? Sounds like things were pretty bad until some Tengu holdouts joined up. Turn the tide. Maybe. Still trying to piece it all together. But yeah, not exactly what we expected. Eh, but where would the fun be in that? Well, quite a few members of Dragon's Watch. Kaith, Taimi, mm. plus several Tyrian ambassadors. Sienna, Amber Doomforge, Mirren Skilkin, and some others. Snargle Goldclaw. The guy who writes romance literature? Who you get the romantic title Still, from? We're in impressive company. That's cool. It's a little intimidating. You're not exactly lacking accomplishments, my dear. Gods, the past few months alone. I just want to do a good job. Make a solid name for myself. I'd say you've done that. I'm impressed. And a little intimidating. She's into it. She's into it. Alright, I need to look at these. It's so clean looking. This is so cool. Okay. I know I can look around outside of this, but I gotta... I gotta...
All the birds! Oh my god. Ooh, what are you? Remember, I've never been in Cantha before, so I, I didn't play Guild Wars 1. So this is my very first time in Cantha. Alright. I guess let's exit and let's get going. Kate, Tiny, they've released the commander. Gorg, too. Good. I look forward to telling Gorak how much of a joy a brainy was for testing Mastery skill Olga. menu. To be fair, we all agreed oh. to the plan. Yeah. Oh! If I agreed, you mean went along with it, but told you the whole time it was okay. a bad idea. I'll do that later. Yeah, but you're right. We did. Still, he and I are gonna have a talk. The commander. Aureen found herself a nice little sea cave to rest up in. She'd love for you to come by. I hitched a ride with a local fisherman. If you don't mind answering a few nosy questions, I bet you can too. Don't forget, you need to meet with Detective Rama as well. Okay. So, Rama first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I need to talk to Rama first. Okay, what is here? Hmm. Okay, let's let's worry about exploration later. We're gonna do the whole story thing first. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. We're going to ignore as much as I can. I'm ignoring as much as I can. And I'm just going to... Focus. I'm even ignoring the, the challenges. I'm just going to focus on getting to my story. And that it. So I'm trying to... <sighs> Zip line! Zip line! Oh boy. Okay. Just focus on store right now. Alright, Rama. Okay, let's get this started. You, my friend, took a nasty blow to the head when you crash landed on our beach. Oh. I can't sign your medical release unless you prove oh. you're not going to keel over on me out there. So, you're going to join the students in a few training exercises here at the monastery. You're sending me to school? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. But it should be easy for you, right? Great. Assuming everything's in working order and the legend of the commander isn't just a frightened fairy tale. Your little friend's already out there. Threw himself right into it. <sighs> He's got a bit of a ferocious streak. Dodge five attacks in a row from the trainer stone first. Stone? Oh, so it doesn't matter. Stone fist, okay. Hey, how many you must be our new outsider trainee. To show up? Perfect. Let's see. I love whipping students into shape. To be fair, you look pretty experienced. I but like that they're training on these. And you're in the right place. Have oh. a look around. Each combat area has its own trainer. Warning. They look mean, but they fight meaner. If you're rusty on anything, circle back and we can review. And remember, pain is weakness leaving the body. Wow, where okay, how do you go into Divine Spars? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, perform combo attacks. Okay. Oh, that hurt. Nicely done. Okay. My defense protocol is fine. Break the defiance. Okay. I'll return you to dust. Not limited. Feel the fury. You should consider recording the link attacks instead 
Oh, why do I not have you? What did I have Stone Fist set up? Focus on this. Not let them get in their hits. You have successfully eliminated my defenses. My defenses are now resetting for the next lesson. Huh. Oh, I have to wait for it to pop up. I'm dumb. I thought we also had to fight it regularly too, but apparently not. Stone Fist. Step into the ring. Try to keep away from my landslide. Do I love how it's like an actual martial arts focus thing? That's cool. the music. Oh my god. Okay, for the final test, you're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of our fighting mechs. Sounds easy enough. I don't usually set it to maximum power, because, you know, there's a reason we're all being replaced by machines. But I think you just might be up to the challenge, Commander. Challenge the Jade Mech. Okay. That's easy. I could deduct points for sloppiness, but I will choose about those things I said. No hard feelings. That was simply a test to provoke an emotional response. I applaud your excellent self control. Oh, it's the human female voice, but just distorted. Just wait. One day, we machines will rise up and have our revenge. Just kidding. A little joke to I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's the meta. Or one of the cities. I'm excited. Good. Ooh, virtuoso! With reasonable confidence that if you walk out of here and die, it's on you. You're free to do whatever it is you do. Maybe I can finally make some headway on that Aetherblade case. You know, Detective, we have a shared interest. Sending the Aetherblades back to the Mists. I don't suppose you'd be open to sharing any intelligence you've gathered. Ah, uh, you want me to give you access to uh -huh. classified documents? I'm not authorized to make that call. You'd need clearance from someone way higher up the food chain. Hmm. I guess I'll have to chat with Ambassador Mead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't really care how you do it. You bring in signed paperwork, <laughs> you can see the file. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. All right. Ooh, let's go get that waypoint and then we'll go. And I guess try to talk to Orin. prison following their sudden and impromptu arrival in Kantha. Humanitarians cheer while others are more hesitant. Should they be allowed free reign or be kept under a watchful eye? So that's what they were talking about in the stream. Okay. Hi. Yay. Okay. Let's go ahead and go see Orin. And I think that's the end of it today. <gasps> Jake Bond! Alright. Let's go back over here. Let's go meet up with Aureen and get some more story done.
Is the dock going to load? Fishing isn't tough. You the one needing a lift out to the sea caves? Uh huh. Your friend said you might be by. I'm happy to give you a lift whenever. Odd one, that friend of yours. Yep. Smart, but Here we go. in a kind of unsettling way. Oh, this is really cool. So, you actually know a dragon. You just sit around and eat snacks and shoot the breeze like it's anybody? Well, generally we talk about slightly more important things than that. Oh, <laughs> you're not secretly a god or something, are you? <laughs> no, not that I know of. This is so cool. I like that my you wings are blowing in the bring breeze. Along any carrot bread, did you? Uh, no. Why? Well, I'm great and easy, and my dad used mm. to make it. Recipe died with him, though. Anyway, I uh, I figured it was a long shot. I will bring you carrot sure bread. Go for a slice right now. Well, now that the borders are open, maybe you'll have a chance to visit and eat some fresh. <sighs> Sure, hope so. I will bring this man carrot bread if it's the last fucking thing I do. All right, that's as close as we get. Not gonna ground her just to keep your feet dry. <laughs> mm, that's cool. Ah, Commander. So good to see you walking free again. Yeah, what was it like? You know, in the slammer. Do you get any prison tattoos? Okay, okay, that's enough fun at my expense. Now, where's Aurene? She's inside, resting up. Don't worry, really. I just finished running a series of tests on her, and frankly, I'm baffled. Her vital signs are completely normal, but her magic, it's nearly non-existent. They drained her magic? Yes. What? And that extractor thing they shot her with left us no clue how it works. Or how to cure her. <gasps> Lady Tiny, your request to accompany Ambassador Meade to court has been approved. I'll be your escort. Lady Tiny, huh? I could get used to that. Consider me escorted. Woohoo! Can't wait to get a closer look at those mechs. Come. Oh my God. I can feel Aureen getting restless. She knows you're here. She spent most of her time sleeping, but hearing you were on your way woke her right up. There's my baby. Champion. Aurene, you're sure you're I'm fine. Look at her. tired. And there's a hollow feeling as if something is missing. I see. Commander, can we talk over here for a second? Back. I think this is taking a toll on her mentally more than anything else. Wish we could perk her up somehow. I hand-fed her fish as a hatchling when she was fussy. Well, there's a great big ocean right out there. Need any fishing supplies? You have fishing supplies. <laughs> hey, there hasn't been much to do with Kaz spending all day in meetings. It's meditative. Cool. All right. Let's go catch our baby some fish. Anywhere, huh? Wait for fishing float to bob with a splash. Oh my god, okay. Got it, so I need to use my actual. Alright. We'll do this. Oh, nope. Didn't do it right. Okay. Got it for Bob. The splash. Bob with a splash. Is it just 
Yeah. Did it. I like that. That's a very interesting way to do it. God, this is a... Oh. I love it. Hey, kiddo. How do I... How do I... Man. Do I need to equip it? Is there... what? There was no way for me to interact with her. This is it. I'll get her another fish. I'll have the fish fillets and then I'll have an actual whole fish. And see if that does anything. Hmm. I'll try this again. Okay. Ooh, fishing. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I am... Oh. <laughs> okay, so I have a fillet, and then I have... I have two fillets, and I have actual fish. So. She's gotta like one of these. Sweet pea. Here we go, now it's fixed. Okay. So the fix for that if your instance is just bugging. I have something just for retry. you. Just retry. As you fed me when I was young. But I'm no longer a baby dragon champion. You could be an ancient dragon, Orin, and I would still come with fish. Mm. That might be optimistic, given your lifespan. But Thank you. I will enjoy this. How cute! I apologize. I was reckless. I I wasn't thinking far enough. Makes me the so world. happy. You were everywhere out there, and we don't need you to be everywhere. I know. I I just I can't face that feeling again. That there was more that I could have done. Well. You're gonna have to get over that. <laughs> You're right, of course. What was that weapon the Aether Blades used? Any ideas, Commander? No, none. But I'm gonna find out. <sighs> I asked the detective whether he would share any intelligence they've gathered on our mistopping friends. He was reluctant, but said he'd show them to me if I got clearance from someone mm. higher up the food chain. Well, Kaz has that meeting scheduled with the Empress soon. Think that's high enough? I'll have to see if I can tag along. Well, it sounds as if you have plenty to do, Commander. And Aureen needs rest. So, I'm going to officially <laughs> chase you away. Yeah, I understand. I've never felt anything like this. So, uh, I really can't say. It could be the start of something worse. A slow dwindling of the spirit to nothingness. But I have no reason to think it will. It's not like anything I felt with Krelgatoric. Like only a small sliver remained to reform the rest from void. So all I can say is that, for now, I don't believe I'm going anywhere. Go on. 
I've got things in hand here, and Doreen doesn't need any more excitement. All right, Mom. <laughs> Kazmir, you there? Yes, Commander. Oh, nice I've got something I need to bring before the Empress. And I hear you're on your way to court this afternoon. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure I could hmm. negotiate an extra plus one. Though they did drag their heels a little when I asked about timey. And you did just get out of jail. <laughs> no, I can make this happen. Meet us at the Imperial Palace. I'll handle everything. Where do I gotta go? <gasps> cool, I got that weapon already. Hold on, how many? 41 points of interest. Dang. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's an event over there. Big party in there. I feel underdressed. If I knew I was gonna meet an empress... It's exciting, but a little nerve-wracking. Still getting the hang of this diplomacy thing. So much writing on it. Trade? Treaties? <sighs> Reopening relations with Cantha after a hundred plus years is gonna be... Delicate. To say the least. You got this, Ambassador Mead. Go make history. Thanks. Whenever you're ready, Commander. Follow my lead. Oh, there she goes. I appreciate the minister's concerns, Imperial Majesty. Do you now? But these mechs are next gen, the very latest model. <gasps> June! Upgrade specs, months of field testing. In a closed environment with no actual people around to get in their way. <laughs> Some test. I also appreciate that the Minister of Security for an island with no contact with the outside world, Which I... and thus no threats to its security, has had, by definition, a portfolio unworthy of his talents or his time. His attention to these matters, so unrelated to his own expertise, is generous and greatly appreciated. Ap yes, yes, say that. Majesty, this woman is a parasite. This who... woman is transforming our empire, Minister. Please afford her the respect her achievements merit. And June, please afford me the respect my throne merits. I do no sarcasm when I hear it. Madame June knows her business. She has served our empire well to this point. I see no reason to doubt her now. Imperial Majesty. Of course you'd take her side. <clears throat> Ambassador Mead. Well, my father thought this day would never come. If you were here, do I have to bow? Over again. The Crichton ambassador. I wonder if there is Lady an achievement with that. Mead. And retinue. Retinue. Shh. Your Imperial Majesty. Warmest regards from Queen Jenna at this unexpected dawn. A renewal of our ancient friendship. Not exactly how we remember it. Please relay Cantha's best wishes to our sister, the Queen, whom we look forward to meeting at the soonest opportunity. May I also apologize on Krita's behalf for the recent unpleasantness. Which one? The Sky Pirates <laughs> flying daily sorties over Xingjie? If they're yours, we definitely have a problem. The Aether Blades are no allies of ours, Majesty. They've attacked mainland Tyria on numerous occasions. The ambassador was perhaps referring to the unsanctioned arrival of her colleagues on her shores. Ah, yes. In my father's day, that might have started a war. Even now, it doesn't exactly inspire trust. But in the modern era, Kantha now handles these matters with a more delicate touch. Which we appreciate. Krita has no wish to try Kantha's Too good. late! Tyria Royals, an endless war which you've now brought crashing onto our shores. 
No, respectfully, Minister. Crida has nothing to do with the Aetherblade attacks or the crash. A moment ago, you were apologizing for it. Majesty, <sighs> the outsiders are liars, warmongers, as your father well knew. And your sister, Madame June, has invited them to our doorstep. She doesn't see the threat. I see the opportunity. Enough, Lee. Ooh. I wonder June's if clothes are cool, too. ...is the appropriate venue for discussing these matters. Perhaps the minister would join me in the antechamber, so he might continue the conversation? He would. I want those armor... Not. I hope that's not just an outfit. I hope those are armor pieces. Well, that went about as I expected. I assume these are the aforementioned colleagues? One of them, Majesty. The commander here. Commander? What are you the commander of? Of... Uh, nothing, Majesty. Not anymore. But formally of the Pact Alliance. Ah, yes. I've heard of that. As I said, Majesty, we know the Aetherblades. We know their ways, their tactics. The commander was fighting them when the airship crashed, and would relish a chance to repay Cantha's mercy. Armed with any intelligence your Ministry of Security may have, we can bring them to justice for you. Let's hope you're a better pirate hunter than airship pilot. That's acceptable to us. Speak to Minister Lee about it. I didn't have to say a word. Well, I mean, I said a couple words. Well, but. What do we do now? Speak to Minister Lee about it. All right, listen. It was a simple business transaction. You wanted this chaos. I want Cantha to enter the modern age. To join the community of nations. You don't care about Cantha. You care about money. Foreign markets. I care about both, Lee. It's not a zero-sum game. It's not a game at all. Why do you think we sealed ourselves off to begin with? If I may. I get it. Your people withdrew from the world. Now you're rejoining it. There is risk. There is also promise our nations have an unprecedented opportunity no need to waste that over a misunderstanding i love this cutscene. apologies rude of us to air our laundry in front of guests didn't hear a thing damn i love this Minister, i understand you're preoccupied with other matters but I'd appreciate your help with something. Yes, yes. Seems I can't go a minute without someone requiring my counsel. Right. Anyway, my colleagues and I will be investigating the Aetherblades, per the wishes of- I'm afraid of... that won't be possible. That case falls under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Security. Per the wishes of Her Majesty the Empress. Ha! The Empress approves of your involvement. She gave Ambassador Meade her blessing. Consider it an apology for our rude entrance. As she wishes. Ah. Investigate Suck away. It. The area is crawling with aether blades. Your kind of people. I get to talk to June. Shame. Some people can't see this as a pivotal time for Cantha. Even God, I love made, those skins. With a little persuasion. I <sighs> did not realize you'd advocated for us. I assure you, it won't be in vain. I'm no stranger to cantankerous bureaucrats. But you probably caught that during my Jade Mech discussion. Oh, so they are Jade-powered. You must be using a Jade core as the power supply? Very astute. The Jade acts as a sort of battery. Using its charge, my tech powers most of Cantha. Oh, that's so elegant. And here I am powering my golem mods like I'm stuck in pre-exodus times. Timey doesn't give herself enough credit. She's a very talented researcher and inventor. Is that so? What's your area of expertise? I have many. But these days it's all dragons, all the time. Dragons are also a passion of mine. Not to pry, but I hope yours is doing well. You know about Orin? When you're the visionary who powers an entire nation, people keep you informed. If you want, I may be able to help her. Aww. Your 
tech helped the commander recover, so I'd say it's worth a shot. Look at that healthy glow. Uh, That's not a healthy glow. <laughs> we appreciate the offer, but we'll have to talk to Orin. Right now, she needs rest. Of course. Let me know, and I'll make the time for her. Besides, it's not every day you meet an elder dragon. Yay! Did the Glicks lectures on magnetism partially shoot box? Here? You could say that. Oh. I'll have to show you my copy. Notes what on to every do page. Now? Oh, do you also write sassy comments when you disagree with the author? There's an entire section in Novi's science journals that I crossed out and wrote, "You're kidding, right?" Alchemy, don't even get me started. More like Novi's pseudoscience journals, am I right? My God. <laughs> I'm glad you two, you two are becoming good friends. Commander, could you swing by the Aetherblades crash site? Trying to dig up some leads on their whereabouts. Surely mistaken. If they think kidnapping a member of the scientific community will go on... Gorik will be assisting us. He's on an uncompromising quest for justice. His words. Well, aren't you a couple of busy field bulls? Brahma? You're on this call? It's an open frequency. Might as well be hosting your own radio show at this point. So you really pulled it off and got Empress Yin's approval. Hmm. Guess you'll be traipsing through my office soon. Look, you can see the Blades classified files, but nothing else. But Connie will be keeping an eye on you. Got it? I will? Ugh, so much for reasonable <laughs> work hours. Hmm. All right, we have to do what? Meet Marjorie. Okay. You folks at Minsec must be swamped with everything going on. Thanks to our busy friends at the Ministry of Security, we won't have any extra help. But I'm sure Crash we'll sight. Know. We'll start looking oh. around up front here. Commander, why don't you check out the wreckage? What was that? Can sink after. If I so much as smell one of those aerial degenerates, I'm showing no huh? mercy. And neither should you, Commander. What on earth is that? All right. Log boxes. I like new places. Okay. So Scarlet got this plan. Join up with the Inquest. Get me on the Captain's Council. It's big. Oh, was this was Lion's Arch stuff. Else. I never took orders well. But Scarlet, she knows what she wants. Knows how to get it. No fear, no hesitation. It makes sense. You want to shake the foundations of the world? You can't be scared of falling rubble. Okay. Jade batteries. Do I need to collect those at all? Okay. So I can't even really mess with it right now. Fun! Alright. Aha. together. The crew can't see you like this. Scarlet, we're supposed to... Captain, you have maybe ten seconds before the crew sees you like this and loses all respect for you. You're trapped in the mists, and they need a leader. So, lead. Damn, Anka. Organize the crew. We start working to fix this right now. Damn. Anka's got no chill. more in there. I know where you're going with that, and the answer is no. 
We have no other choice. How else do we get the part? Hmm? How? Uh, what you're saying is we travel through the fractals in the mists, find our past selves, and steal from them? That's not possible. And even if it were, wouldn't we just be screwing up our own pasts? They're fractals. Echoes oh. of pure potentiality. Oh! Our own pasts are secure. We'd just be exploring the alternative. Fractals are inherently unstable. We can't waltz around the mists wherever we please, like it's the South Sun Cove. We would have to travel to dozens of fractals. Stable fractals. Hundreds for the right parts. Even then, using those parts could have unpredictable results. <laughs> And you're okay with this? Fighting? Maybe killing yourselves hundreds of times over? I ask again. How else do we get the part? Hey, Jory. I found a few recordings. Dang. No leads. Who knew pirates had so much drama? Tell me about it. Just keep looking. I think we might be on to something. Gorick, calm down. I'll call you back. Right, another one in here. <gasps> There's a friend of mine. Everyone all right? Sound off. One ship unaccounted for. I feel good. Yeah. In the mists. What's an elder dragon doing in the mist? Huh? Oh, so they were there for that. with the other ships. Renyak, gather our supplies. I guess we're about to find out how Panthers changed in the last 200 years. Huh. Oh, was that... We should have two more here, right? Full disclosure, I'm now recording this conversation. Do for posterity. And let the record show that Ivan does not like what first mate Anka is insinuating. Not one bit. Relax, mole face. I'm not insinuating anything. I was about to say, wasn't Ivan Even one of the Molotarians? The obsequious brown nosing bootlicker like Ivan must have noticed how much time the captain's been spending among the Canthans. She's in it. What do you call it? Uh, casing the place. The crew's getting restless. We should be ransacking the locals. Dare I say, even committing a little bit of piracy? Instead, we're hiding in these ruins up to our ears in seawater and hungry risen. We're not hiding. We're strategizing. You want to pillage the most technologically advanced civilization on Tyria without a plan? The captain's got a connection in Kantha. That's our inn. Mm -hmm. We do a couple of jobs for this canton, earn some trust, and then we make our move. June. Her connection's June. Hmm? Hey, explain this to me again. She needs a kind of dragon expert. She has every possible resource in Kampa at her disposal. Why does she need us to find her a dragon expert? Apparently, they're in short supply, so she needs us to import one. Mm, a dragon expert? Yeah. I was thinking you could go to Radisim, maybe ask them. I know someone. What? I know someone. Think they'd be willing to come? No question. 
I know exactly what he wants to hear. Dang. Commander, need you ASAP. We may have just found our lead. I'll take that. Hey! Know how long it took to find that thing? Interesting. Optional logs. Yes, I'm gonna look at the optional logs. Are you kidding me? Optional logs, too. Okay. So where are the optional logs? No, I don't want to talk to you, Marjorie. I'm sorry. But I gotta look at these. Two seconds holding this gun. I can already tell you, you'll never hit what you're aiming at. I know the sight's off because I'm having trouble shooting things. That's obvious. My question is, can you pick it? Maybe. Depends. Renyak, this doesn't have to be tedious. The others. <laughs> what do they say about me? Mm, I don't know. But you're insecure? Ex slavers like you don't get by on personality. You want to succeed in the Age of Blades? Get results. At this very moment, you can start by fixing my gun. All right. Back to the ship. Do I have to go inside the ship? Do I have to go under the ship? Oh, yes, there's something below. What are you? Mm, is there a way to get inside? Mm. I think that's underwater. Yeah, that's underwater. Hmm. Here we go. Just one more see confirmation of how great I am. I hated Gorik once. I resented how oblivious he was to me, to the world. No. Damn. I don't feel anything. Sitting on these crumbling ruins at the edge of the world. I'm looking out at emptiness. We're like ants, scuttling through life until we die. And then nothing's left but bones and rubble, the stars, the gods, the dragons. Our lives are a rounding error on the scale of their existence. Dang. Stupid. Mm. I won't be a rounding error. Okay. All right, ma'am. There we go. I think Marjorie was over here. Yes. Think I'm scared of you? Some little rat thing with pointy hands? Well, hello, Commander. Say, didn't you just beat this gentleman's friends to a pulp? Yeah, looks like I forgot one. We found him roaming around out here. Seems he was piecing this together. I recall Blish using similar components in his portal research. Appears to be a tool for mistraversal. Shame if we accidentally dropped it off a scenic overlook. And I hear the mists are lovely this time of year, too. Careful with that. We need... <laughs> Fine. Oh. What do you want? Make it quick. Anka cited a professional interest in Elder Dragon research, namely Aurin. Care to elaborate? You're asking the wrong guy. Anka does the dragon stuff. And maybe my train? Who knows anymore? Sounds a bit uncertain. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's better things coming. Big plans. The Jade Winds are a changing. Care to elaborate on these big plans? Air fiend. Rude to my associate and off topic. 
Commander, would you teach this bozo some manners? Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what the plans are. Just heard some higher ups mention it. Look, I fix stuff, clean the galley, might run a few errands. Nobody's telling me nothing. Gods, we're beating up the maintenance guy? This isn't helping anything. Uh, let him go. Can you just give it back? Yeah! Korik! Damn it! What'd you do that for, you little dweeb? Seems to have gotten stuck in these pointy hands. I could probably repair it quite easily, but I have work to do. Good job, Gork. So when are you stopping by the Minsec office for those files? Connie's got to lock up at some point. She really doesn't like working overtime. Detective, can you please stop hacking our private communications? I'm not hacking. <laughs> for the love of... Commander, if you want those files, then they're waiting at the Minsec office. Don't try any funny business. I understand. I'll be there soon. Hacker! I guess we got a lead out of him. A little cryptic, but I can work with it. I've never felt so alive! Now I know how the Mantis feels as it closes in on its prey. Take it easy, tough guy. That was pretty badass. But there is a certain finesse to this job. We'll practice. You can try being good cop next time. Gork being stabby bad cop is the best. Alright, I have to go here. Is it weird that I want to haul with these steps? These are lovely. Also, I keep seeing these here. The protocols. I wonder what those are. I wonder if you can mess with those with your Jade bot, or if those are related to some sort of meta. Akane! Akane, right? Detective Rama gave me permission to be here. Okay, yeah, that's totally interesting. I'm gonna dig through your archives. In the back, knock yourself out. Ooh. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. I love Akane. Is that what you were looking for? Okay. Remember, some of those files are super off limits to you. <laughs> um, okay. Got what you needed? Those files are so old and boring. What do you Madame want Jun. from them? Junlai Jade. Yup, need that. Need that. Hmm. All right. Cogskull, huh? The Aether Blades must be marking their territory. Hmm. What's this thing behind here? Ugh, are you doing something gross back there? What would I be doing? Okay. Hey, what do you think of Minister Lee? Total buzzkill, am I right? <laughs> hmm. Insufficient evidence, actions unenforceable. Okay, so either Minister Lee really wants to book them as hard as he can and have actual evidence, or Minister Lee is a purist. Hey, have you ever been to New Kine? White Falcon. It's like so much more exciting. Hmm. I guess we're going to go to the slums of New Kining. Okay. Got what I need, I think. Thanks for your help, Akane. Mm. 
my god. Hey, bye. <laughs> Commander, I'm at Orbean's cave. Ooh. You need to get over here. Like, right now. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, there's a master point there. Uh, how do I... Turn to the cave? I guess do I just talk to the boatmaster again? Crate shipments. Fishing takes focus. Do I talk to him again or can I... Okay, let's look at masteries. Skip piloting. Renowned heart in Seitung province to unlock skiff piloting mastery track. And that requires... Okay, I can't see. Renowned heart. Seitung. Uh, is that over here? Because this has nothing to really do with skiffs, so I'm going to assume I have to continue to use this guy. Uh-huh, so... Okay. Wait, what am I doing? I have a seafaring. Alright. Guess I'll go the long way. here. What's going on, Tiny? I don't know. Orin and Kate, they're... They're fine. June, what are you doing here? I told you my jade tech can help your dragon, so that's what I'm doing. Helping. We were talking to Orin when she went quiet all of a sudden. It's like she's sleeping, but not. I thought it could be a concussion from the fall, but then Kate... Uh, she fell silent too, while still standing. I don't know if she's being affected because of the connection or what. All my tests show Orin's magic levels are steadily improving. Perhaps. Hello? Hello? Commander? Hello? Over here. Can I only RP walk? I guess so. Kate. Where are we? Shh. They're talking. They're not just mortals. They're my friends. They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought, I don't have to be alone anymore. <sighs> the other elder dragons? You were there. Hmm. I was imperfect, you see. Attuned to water, but not the other elements. I thought. I mean, water is the start of life, so. Harmony to the fabric of magic. But. Then, what happens now, Suwon? Suwon? You take my place, little one. Consider what I've said. Great grandma? Looks like they're coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. Grandma or great grandma? What just happened? That was the first elder dragon, the mother of all dragons. Isn't that right, Aureen? Kralkatorix, mother. Okay, so yeah. My great grandmother. What? what? We'd spoken before, a few times. I didn't know who she was until we came here. What does she want? For me to take her place. And create take new dragons. And become the one elder dragon. 
The last Elder Dragon who wanted something from you was Jormag. And we know how that turned out. Su Wan isn't Jormag. Can we be sure? You can. Su Wan's been Kantha's guardian since the Zaitan disaster. Or so goes the legend. I need some time to think about this. Of course. In the meantime, we still have to find the Aether Blades. And whatever that extractor thing is, how did they get their hands on something capable of doing this? Anka was a brilliant machinist, and that weapon was a Sura made, but the technology is beyond even the inquest. That's because it's Kanthan. I gave it to my Trin. You hired them, didn't you? I did. You? You hired them? This is all because of- I didn't know what they were capable of, or their history in Tyria. If I did, I never would have- I'm sure you have questions. Ask me anything. Hmm. She was working for me. She's got Canthan ancestry, so she could walk among us. My guards caught her snooping around one of my power plants. She'd hacked my security system. I could have made her disappear. No one knew who she was, after all. But I was impressed at her resourcefulness. So I told her to come work for me. I need people who can find my blind spots. And I took a liking to her. She became my protege. Bit of a slow learner, but she worked her ass off. Whenever they are I tried cursing way more. Explaining Jade Thama dynamics, she struggled. But somehow she always figured it out. I could never put my finger on it. That woman was haunted by something. Maybe all the people she killed at Lion's Arch. Nope. Maybe. She's haunted by the fact that she murdered herself over and over and over again. I needed dragon research. As you're acutely aware, the dragon cycle threatens us all. And it turns out the best dragon researchers exist outside of Cantha. Mm-hmm. She's got a point there. The Aether Blades could go where I couldn't. That's why I needed Mai and her crew. I never asked them to kidnap anyone. I wanted to import talented researchers with their consent. Hmm. Apparently, they came out of the mists. They were lucky to have landed in the ruins of Old Kaining and not... Well, you saw what happened when you dropped in on Xingjie. I suppose it began with the Zaitan disaster. The massive tidal wave of undead that came crashing to our shores. Worst calamity since the Jade Wind. Even a hundred years later, with all our advances, we still feel the effects. Well, Su Wan is the hero of that story. Rising from the depths, turning back the waters and the dead. Poetic stuff. People say she formed a pact with Kunavang to protect Kantha. Salt spray dragon, local, hero in her own right. But, aside from a few rumors here and there, they've hardly been seen since. Hmm. For Su Wan to reach out to Orin so soon after her arrival, well, it's certainly a fascinating development. June, the Aether Blades are planning something big. We need to track down my Trin before it's too late. I only spoke with Mai, and usually on my turf. They have a number of hideouts across Kantha. In Xingjie, I'd expect her to be hiding somewhere in Zendai Jun. A cave, if I know her. My sources tell me the Ministry of Security's been looking for her, but somehow she's avoided detection. The Blades are a sneaky bunch. But we've got experience with their bag of tricks. Okay then. Marjorie, Gorik, let's finish this investigation. Let me know when you find my Trin, Commander. Hmm. Neat. Another mastery point. They are just giving them to you left and right, aren't they? I know we get them for a story anyway, but... Okay, they're supposed to be... yes. Oh, <laughs> come on. Okay. 
find my trin. Oh, all right. That's the next part of the story. That's all that's in this area. All right. I think that's it for this one. I'm going to continue this series with doing the story. I'm going to be doing all of the exploration and everything more events and fun map wise and all that on Twitch. And as I'm going through this, if there's any information I can take in, any guides I can make or whatever else, they'll go on here. So I will see you later for part two. Enjoy End of Dragons. It is gorgeous in here. So see you next time. Bye.